sold out Notre Dame Stadium on a cool and cloudy afternoon in Indiana. And hungry for a victory, here come the Irish. And hot on their heels, the unbeaten and 16th ranked Stanford Cardinal. Led by their coach Jim Harbaugh, who knows his way around Notre Dame Stadium. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Notre Dame Stadium. Tom Hammond and Mike Mayock ready for this crucial game, ready for both teams. Notre Dame comes in one and two, but only a couple of plays away from being three and zero. Oh. Stanford is three and zero oh for the first time since 2001, and they've done it with a stout defense and with maybe the best quarterback in college football. They remind me of a 1975. Power downhill smash mouth run attack. He's only had three starts. 55 attempts, four touchdowns. He's getting the ball out quickly and efficiently, but there's a different challenge today. Ten catches against Michigan State. Yeah, and they're a, a matchup nightmare. Rudolph at tight end, Floyd at wide receiver. All of a sudden, Theo Riddick, bubble screen, slants, verticals. Our Adidas starting lineups now. First for the Notre Dame offensive line. Martin and Dever, first year starters, continue to draw praise from Coach Kelly. And the backs and receivers, Leo Reddick, the former running back, with those 10 receptions a week ago. And up now for the Notre Dame defense, which welcomes back the line coach Mike Elston, who had been hospitalized with a viral illness. Ian Williams continuing an outstanding season. The Irish finally get the play they'd been looking for from Darius Fleming last week. And Robert Blanton starts for the injured Darren Wall offense. With center Chase Beeler, a transfer from Oklahoma, starting his 25th straight game, second team All American last year. And as we see the backs and receivers, there's Marisic on the field when Stanford uses a fullback. Mop of hair sticking out the back of his helmet. He started 39 of 40 games played at linebacker and at fullback. They don't always go with a fullback, and so he does get a few breaks, but he said he splits his time in practice between offense and defense. He splits his time in meetings. He'll go from one to the other. Stanford defense, 306-pound Fua has a couple of sacks, was honorable mention all Pac-10 last season. Chase Thomas leads Stanford with three and a half sacks, and Owen Maurice. And Sierra Wood will take this one about two yards deep and come out with it. Coach Kelly saying that this is Wood's last chance to have a decent game returning kicks. They've inverted their tight ends and their wideouts. His first pass is on target. Caught by Riddick. And Riddick once again makes it known early. Four-man defensive line for Stanford coming with a blitz. Play action fake. Chris under pressure. Deck as he let it go. And now Floyd fighting for it. And it goes incomplete. Chris took a shot. But here's Chase Thomas, their outside linebacker, coming off the edge. Unimpeded to the quarterback, makes a good clean hit. First drive of the game. Tight end wide again. We're seeing some adjustments by Stanford. Chris dropped. Oh, oh, oh. That was Riddick. Had it, dropped it. Oh. Oh, you got it. Looked like that he was definitely offside, but there's no fly. See, now that's the edge you're talking about with Stanford. This is clearly unimpeded to the quarterback. He takes the shot, knocks him down. And then everybody congratulates them. And okay, that's Stanford and that's the Reg. And Tom, that's what I mean. Chris scrambling and threw it right to a Stanford player. Lucky it wasn't picked off all season. Ben Turk boots it towards Baldwin. Fair catch. Baldwin fumbled the ball and is recovered by Notre Dame. to the left of the screen very dangerously close now you got to back off and give the guy a chance to catch it ball get that Sunday hop and Mata jumps on top of it and Tom I was on the field before the game it's a tough wind out from 22 to take the early lead Ruffer sends it on its way and it is good the walk on kicker Ruland, Fleener and Ertz third and short and the quick handoff to Maurice Stacked up at the line of scrimmage. Calipriest not only came up with the tap. Uh, the officials disagree. They give him a first down, and Brian Kelly's giving him an earful. I, I don't get. I, I want to see that one again. Look at the ref over the ball. That's the iron cross. He's standing over the ball. He won't allow it to be snapped. And now it's going to be reviewed. Times and there are three games. 
look at Calabrese. He sees the down block by the right tackle. He fills the hole and bends him backwards. Now, it's hard to tell, Tom, from that angle, but to me, it looks like he gets nowhere near the first down marker, and that's Carlo Calabrese with what they call a, a run fit. Now, remember, the yellow line, yellow line is not official. After a further review, the ruling on the field stand. First down. And, and I would Notre say. Is charged with a timeout. Luck. Over the middle. Boy, perfect touch on that to Conrad Ruland, the former Notre Dame tight end. Calabrese coming up to the line and coming on the blitz. Luck passes it and it's snagged in the end zone for a touchdown by Fleener. And that's why I wanted you to see the tight end flex because look, there's nobody back here. It's man to man. That's an easy read for Andrew Luck. He's isolated on Brian Smith, a linebacker. And once you get a linebacker uh, back turned in space, showing blitz. And Chris hit, lost the football, and recovered by Stanford. Pierre Wood got completely overwhelmed by Scove, James Scove, the middle linebacker. They might take a look at this to see if his arm's coming through, which I don't believe it is. And the ball just there on the ground. And none of the Notre Dame players seem to see it. Zach Martin had it just about at his ankles. <laughs> exactly. It's interesting to see Jim After Harbaugh. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. First down. Know who he is? But I think he's a tackle and he's in the block, people, folks. It is McGillicuddy, normally an offensive tackle. Here's the pass, almost picked off. Walls had a chance to grab it. And everybody knows he's in there to catch. Now he runs a route. They're trying to fool Notre Dame. Walls and Jamara Slaughter do a great job on play action. Slaughter probably has the interception. From 24, Whitaker. And it's good. Gray are deep for the Irish. Wood two yards deep, bringing it out. No, it's Gray, excuse me. Gray two yards deep coming out with it. And nothing doing. Stop short of the 20. To the left side. Stove has returned as the blitz comes. Penalty marker down. The catch made by Floyd. Great catch. <laughs> Offside. Offside and a great catch by Michael Floyd. Offside on the defense. Number three, that penalty is declined. First down. So the 10 yard catch stays in. The and that'll be the end of the first quarter. Turnovers have been significant. One led to the Notre Dame field goal. Chris crossing route underneath to Riddick. The old Riddick bumped out of bounds in Cardinal territory by Chase Thomas. They're showing three, but I guarantee you one or two of these backers is coming. Chris takes the low snap. Throws it, and it's caught by Floyd. No, incomplete. Looked like he had it for a moment. That's a heck There's a flag run. down back up field. And Coach Kelly is Floyd. On the back. offense, number 70. That penalty's declined. Fourth down. Already today. 40 yards, rougher, boots it through. His dad Oliver in from Morgantown for watching play today. Fumbled the snap. Looked like he got back on it. Good luck. To the left side, there's two tackles at the bottom of the screen. Toss, Taylor has the first down as he uses his blockers to penetrate Irish territory. He's got man coverage here with nobody behind. Looks that way. And wide open, the catch made by Whalen. Griff Whalen got away from the tackle. Finally is knocked out of bounds. Notre Dame rushes four. Lux pass drilled to the 20 yard line for a Stanford first down to Doug Baldwin. And, and it is Alex Lucas. As they pitch the ball and go the other way, and nothing doing. Nice play by Gary Gray. Back to see him come after him this time. Andrew Luck in the pocket. Goes for the end zone and the catches men. Oh good. Out of bounds. Out of bounds to Baldwin. Pretty good coverage. He turns it into the football. Look at the catch by Baldwin, but clearly out of bounds. No question. Brings up a fourth down, and I don't even think they're going to take a second look at that. That was clear. Nate Whitaker. 
Field goal attempt up and it is perfect. Showing blitz comes from the other side. Chris is in trouble and down he goes. That'll be a sack. I told you they play a lot of man and they're going to get after you. Bang! Chase Thomas early in the game. Kaiser, the other outside linebacker. Stove, I thought he was offside. He wasn't. Comes in with a big hit. Stove again, forcing the fumble, which led to three points. Chris throws it, and it's almost intercepted. From their own 49. Luck lobs it up top. And broken up. It was intended for Wusu. Now you got to turn and run, locate the football, and go catch it. I think that's a situation the coverage was so good. If Blanton didn't hesitate, he had a chance to make a play on the football. Second and ten. Luck steps in the pocket. His pass batted down by Manti Teo just at the last second intended again for the tight end cleaner. See him right here. When the ball's delivered, I thought they were going to complete it. But he reads the eyes and the hands of the wide receiver. And at the last second, right there, gets the right hand in. And the man on the edges. Luck hit as he delivers, but the pass is caught. Down to the 30-yard line. It's cleaner again. Andrew Luck. Going again for Awusu. Intercepted on the deflection. Jamora Slaughter upended at the 30 yard line as he crosses. Then a late flag comes in. During the return, clipping on the intercepting team, number five, the penalty is half the distance from the spot of the foul, first down. A deep shot, one on one. How about Blanton? He's right there. Deflects the ball with his right hand. Jamara Slaughter with the alert play. And that's what we're talking about. Taking advantage. The ball's in the air. 13-6. We'll be right back. Hard to give him a realistic shot. And Luck looks to do that as he drills it down the middle and it's caught. That's Whalen. Again, Griff Whalen. From 36, Whitaker once again splits the uprights. So the Cardinal with a field goal just before intermission to up their lead. And let's go down to Alex. Well, Coach, let's start with the last one minute and 21 seconds on this clock. It's got to be disappointing that you get the turnover, can't capitalize on it, and then allow them to score a field goal. Yeah, well, we ran the ball and, and just obviously came up with nothing trying to run the football here and, and uh, eat some clock going into the half. And, you know, again, if you can't run the football, uh, you can't be a championship team. Playing college football. Colder plays at West, or plays at the University of Virginia, and Paul plays at IU. And here's a pass complete to Owusu. Big game for Owusu all the way to the 30-yard line. Harrison Smith, after a gain of 20, it could be a top five team at Notre Dame today, then at Oregon, and then home against USC. Wide open. The ball hangs up, though, and enables the defense to collapse on a Wusu jump on the short one and then they're going to run the flag in behind it and what happens is textbook coverage by walls doesn't jump the short one he knows he's got a safety coming over the top they both converge at the point and you're right Tom had the ball been thrown either earlier or more sharply it's a touchdown instead it's third down and eight luck pumps once has to go the other way being chased Throws it up for Krebs, and it is incomplete. Knocked away. That was a dangerous pass. Brian Smith nearly intercepted it. 23, 42, and 36. And this one, too, is on the money. Whitaker has kicked four for four today in the field goal department. And the deep men, Sierra Wood and Jonas Gray. Kickoff will be a good one, a yard deep, and Wood is going to come out. Here, Wood does cross the to Allen, and Armando using his blockers downfield, but there's a flag. Flanking, holding on the offense, number nine. The penalty is 10 yards from the spot of the foul, second down. Kyle Rudolph with a hold. 
nullifies a 12 yard gain. And he's at the point of attack. You're trying to outflank this defense, and you do. And Kyle Rudolph, the junior tight end, caught with a hold on Scoffle right there. Good call. Still has it. And wide open was Jones. And Jones with a nice game to the 45. I think that's his first catch of the game. Armando Allen, nowhere to go, trapped in the backfield. That was, a, that was an excellent play by Fua. Three, are they going to bring any more? Or just three man pressures. Chris, despite only three man pressure, is sacked for the fourth time today. Ben Turk is in punt formation with Baldwin deep. And that was not a good punt. Stan Stanford. Good luck rolling. Irish in pursuit, but can't get there until Teo grabs him as he goes out of bounds. Tipped and intercepted. Darren Walls. See if that can ignite the crowd. And Locke coming back. Good deflection, as you called it, right there by Curry Neal and a great reaction by Darren Walls. Third turnover of the game. He had gone uh, 11, 11 touchdowns, no interception. Take me out. Looking for Rudolph, who was double covered and overshooting him anyway. Showing blitz. Seven up, two drop out, five are coming. And that one should have been intercepted. Marisic had to go right out of his hand and overshot Rudolph. And this one to Riddick. Lucky it wasn't intercepted. Seven up. Marisic was one of the two that dropped out on a 45 degree angle, drove on the anticipated route, made the play in front of Riddick. Taylor. <laughs> Tao. You could hear that up here, could yeah. you? You could hear that one. Here's Tao right here. Watch him just run. Clears all the people inside. Bang. Love it. <laughs> Hold for a moment for Taylor. And then a late flag comes down. Second Face eight. mask on the defense. 15 yard penalty for the end of the run. First down. You know, Tom, second and eight, what do they do? Luck hands it off. Amana. Wow, another hard hit by Teo. Watch him coming downhill. Right here. That is a big hit, leading with the right foot in the eye formation on first down. And again, it's the tailback who gets the call. And this time thrown for a loss is Taylor by Darius Fleming. Goodman deep for Notre Dame. High punt. First punt of the game by the Cardinal will be downed at a two at the one or two yard line. Can't do it much better than that. Inside the one yard line. So Allen and Gray both over on the bench shaken up as Brian Kelly discusses things. Sierra Wood in the backfield replacing the injured Gray. And the catch made by Floyd. Floyd goes upstairs to grab that one. Been there a long time with his head coach Brian Kelly asking questions. Jonas Gray hit in the backfield. Didn't even come close. Chase Thomas almost could have taken the handoff. Right here at the point of attack. You have to account for him. Down block, nobody touches him. I don't understand. The day, so I don't like to make comparisons, but there's Bob Diaco, the defensive coordinator of the Irish. They've done their share of hitting today, especially Manti Teo. Right end up here in the slot. Andrew Luck throws in the run and finds Taylor the running back. And he has another Stanford first down and another third down conversion. Taylor. Sprinting can't quite get to the end zone. Ridden down by Gray at the two-yard line. <laughs> and Taylor stopped at the line of scrimmage that time. 
I give Teo a ton of credit. Stays in, making plays. Morisic again over the top this time for the touchdown. Luck rolling to his right. Two point conversion is good. Caught by Zach Ertz. Whitaker with Riddick and Wood, the deep men, into the end zone. Sierra Wood brings it out only to the 16 yard line. Dane Christ again hit and picked off. Marisic, who just scored on the last possession as the fullback. I agree 100 percent, especially with that Oregon game this week. Christ, time to look and find Goodman that time. Goodman shakes the first tackle and makes a nice run after the catch. Out close to the 40 yard line. Different blitz packages, and I think it was a learning experience today for Dane Christ. Who goes across the middle and Sets up Riddick for the big hit. Guy took a hit, but great job by Theo Riddick catching the football in an exposed position. Celeste and said, take the next lowest number, and that was six. And I don't know where Chris was throwing that one. It was almost another interception. I guess Rudolph was closest to it. Boston College next week. And they're going for Floyd in the end zone here. And the big man goes up to get it. It's inside the five-yard line. That's what Michael Floyd can do for you against Barry Browning to throw the ball up and let your six foot three, 227 pound wide out. Blitz comes from Stanford and Chris able to get the touchdown to Riddick. Theo Riddick for two. First points they've scored since early in the second quarter. Chris just heaves it up there and uh, Rudolph collides with. The linebacker Bree. Yeah, so Pass out there. On the defense number 57. The penalty places the ball at the one and a half yard line. Leprechaun. Allen keeps cuts back and he's in for the two point conversion. Receivers, tight ends, and people that supposedly have great hands. Ruffer now steps away and they go the other way with it. But he didn't cover 10 yards. And I think they were off sides. And it was recovered by Stanford. Offside on the kicking team number 22. That five yard penalty is added to the dead ball spot. First down. Well, Andrew Luck with 238 yards passing. First two interceptions of the season, but both on deflections. Third down conversion. This is the stat of the game as far as I'm concerned. Taylor. Stop for a loss on that one of the game. And from 29 yards, he boots it through. But earlier, within the building, forget about everybody else. Believe in your staff and your teammates, and they'll be okay. Robert Hughes gets the pass and races down the sideline. Big game for Hughes on his first reception of the season. Chris through the hands. <laughs> Through the hands of a Stanford player and incomplete. That at AFC East, that's going to be fun to watch. Inside the final minute now, Manti Teo, you saw a shot of him on the sideline, had a career day. The young linebacker of the Irish. No catch for Goodman. Took a tackler and out of bounds. Teo with a career high 21 tackles today. 21 for Manti Teo. Chris fakes the handoff and rolls to his right. There's a flag down. Has a touchdown to Riddick if it holds up. Now Chris Stewart pulled out of the boot. Very obvious call. Holding on the offense number 59. The 10 yard penalty the previous spot. First down. And he didn't even need to hold because Chris had already made the, the emphatic move up inside. Again to the end zone for Goodman this time and it's broken up and that'll do the game. Jim Harbaugh with the celebration. Let's go to Alex. Well, coach, what do you take away from this game? Well, we got beat by a good team today. Um, thought we did some good things defensively, played hard. Uh, we're just, uh, you know, missed too many opportunities on the offensive side of the ball.
Your fourth game as the head coach here, your quarterback's fourth game, yet you know the expectations that this place has. What do you tell people about their patience? I really don't care about that. We're, we're, we care about our football team and working to get them better every single day. And, you know, if you, if you come to this job worrying about the expectations of everybody, uh, then you can't get your job done. So you, we'll, we'll work with our players and our coaches to get better every day. Thank you, Coach. Appreciate it. Well, as Coach Kelly said, we have a plan. We believe in the plan, and we're sticking to the plan. And they'll stick to it even though they are one in three and on the road to meet uh, one of their big rivals, Boston College, next week. So 37 to 14 is the final score as Stanford with a convincing win at Notre Dame Stadium.